Welcome to the all-new GEUS TiVo Premiere Q DVR. Tutorial 4, setting a recording. Hi, welcome back. In this fourth video, we're going to be going over the options involved in recording. We'll first go over the three ways that you can set a recording. And then finally, we'll go over the options and uh, settings that you can do to better utilize the recording ability. Our first option in recording is to press the record button live during a show. This can be done at any time, at any point in the show. However, if you are, say, 30 minutes into an hour program and you press record, it's going to start recording from the time that you press record and not at the beginning of the show. It can't go backwards in time. Recording option two and three are very similar. First thing we're going to do is we're going to press the guide button that gets us in to see what available shows are coming up in the future. We'll scroll over to the right and we'll go and look at, say, The Mentalist at 3 o'clock. To record The Mentalist at 3 o'clock, we have two options. We can either press the red record button or we can press the select button. Either of them are going to basically do the same thing. They're going to pop up a window that gives you the option of record this show. It also, in this area, we're going to be able to do recording options, which we'll review in a moment. Again. It doesn't matter which button you push, either one's gonna get you to the same menu screen of record this show. Remember, if you're unsure as if your TiVo box is recording, take a look at the box itself. If one of the lights is on, that means the box is currently recording something. Finally, in this video, we're gonna go over the steps in a recording and changing the options. The TiVo Premiere Q DVR allows for multiple recording options to be selected to better your recording experience. First, let's do this. Let's review setting recording. As we're watching this live shot, we will press the red record button and from there a box will pop up. This box will give us many options, the first of which is to record this show. Now if we press record this show, it's going to start recording with the standard recording options. To view the options, let's start over. Again, from the live shot, we will press the record button and bring up the recording window. From there, we'll press down and then press select on season pass and other options. From here, you'll see that there's many choices to make. Let's go over each one, one by one, so that we can better understand it. Next, we will press down, and we'll press to the right. And here, we're going to be looking at the actual options for the single recording that we've just set. In this option window, you're able to do multiple things. You can either change the time in which the recording is going to happen. Say, you meant to record the 4 o'clock but instead you accidentally set the three o'clock to record. Next, we can actually go down and check the quality. Now, I personally go and do the best quality every time, but you have the option if you say are low on space on your DVR but don't want to delete anything yet, you can lower the quality of the recording. This will make the actual video smaller in uh, hard drive size and will prevent you from going over on your 500 gigabyte limit. Also in this is a very important recording option, and that's the on time and off time. The start time for some shows tends to end up being a little bit earlier based on the networks starting it too early. To prevent any misses, you might decide to go start it five minutes earlier, or even 10, or 15. Even if you got information from the show before, you would still be making sure you got all the beginning of your show and not to miss anything. A great example would be football games. 
A football game will start at the same time it says it's going to start, most every single time. But something it may not do is stop when it's supposed to. On the very bottom of there, there is a setting that says stop recording. From here, you can actually set it to go, again, 5, 10, 30 minutes, an hour, up to four hours after you have the recording is supposed to end. So, say the football game goes into overtime. On the guide, it'll say that it's supposed to be on some new show. But, in reality, the football game is still on. To prevent you from missing the game, you can actually change this option to go on for an extra hour or two and record to make sure you don't miss any of your football game. Remember, when you make these changes, this is just to the current recording that you're setting. This will not be a permanent change that happens with every single one. The final setting we'll look at is Season Pass. Season Pass service is an option that allows you to record any time this show comes on the air. So as you can see, we're looking at Friends, a daytime, or excuse me, as you can see, we're looking at the show Friends, a primetime TV show that could have reruns as well as future shows and future episodes coming out. From season pass, we can say we want it, the TiVo to record any time the show Friends comes on. That way we miss none of the new episodes that come on every week. To change the season pass options, we'll go down to get a season pass and move over right to the options. In the options, you can see there's a few different settings. We'll go over just a couple to make sure. Just like in the recording options, you're able to select the quality of recording, the start time, the stop time of the recording, and how long you want to keep it. The other important setting in the season pass recording options is the record feature. As you see selected on your screen right now, you have the options of recording the new episodes and or the reruns. Now if you're like me, I try to keep up with as many of the shows as I can. So what I'll do is I'll tell it to select and record only the new options. That, that way, if for instance, it comes on another channel showing an old rerun, it's not going to record something that I've seen before. I'm just going to record the new options. However, you also have the option of doing new and reruns. At that point, it will record any time the guide ever shows the word friends, it's going to record that episode. Thank you again for coming and visiting us at the tutorial for setting a recording. If you have any other questions about how to set a recording or the recording options, please visit our website at www.geus.org or TiVo's website at www.tivo.com or you can always call us at 903-457-2800 and a customer service representative will be happy to help you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.